He wanted to be a real boy, Pinocchio. He you remember did. that, Pinocchio's That's nose, all he wanted. Rube? Uh, he's front and center in one small Johnson County town this morning. Some angry Merriam residents are using the Disney cartoon character to explain how they feel about their city leaders. Mm, Pinocchio. Matt Stewart is live off Merriam Lane and Johnson Drive to show us this display. Matt. <laughs> Very interesting that. display. Our, That's not funny you're to amused, you? You're Mark, I can tell. Where? Come on, it's look hilarious. at it. No, it's, a, it's hilarious. Let me All get right. out of the way so you can take a Come closer on. look. Okay, so Where he, is so it? here's the deal. Here's the deal. So this is right off of Merriam Lane and Johnson Drive. Uh, this is Guitar Lamp. Uh, Dan Lee owns the store, so he makes lamps out of guitars. So what happened was, uh, a few, uh, actually it was last week, the city council here in Merriam approved plans for a brand new community center, indoor pool, outdoor pool, library, parking lot, a little bit of everything. Uh, they're upset because when voters uh, approved the $30 million bonds uh, like last spring, they thought the outdoor pool was going to be bigger than the new design and so everyone is upset a lot of people are upset including Dan Lee Dan come on in here uh, what inspired you for this uh, little display behind us Dan well you know uh, the City Council hasn't been listening actually all City Hall that includes a staff too they haven't been listening and all we want is for him to slow down the process pause it a little bit and let's take another look at things so why do you think they're not listening to the residents? Because a lot of residents are upset that the pool is not as big as it currently is. It's going to be, what, like a third of the size? Yeah, about more like a quarter of the size. And uh, it's just a bait and switch. You know, the, the people voted for the new community center, but the reason they voted for it is because the city put out this propaganda about how nice it's going to be in the big pool and indoor and outdoor pool. And sure, they voted it, but, you know, now we're already uh, $5.4 million over budget and the shovel hasn't even hit the ground yet. Yeah, Dan, you used to be on the city council. Uh, can anything be done? It sounds like they're ready to break ground soon. Well, the city council could actually vote to pause it, but they're not listening to their residents. I mean, when you go to a city council meeting like last Monday, place is packed, that shows there's a problem. So you guys have some petitions out there. Can the petitions do anything if you get enough signatures? Yeah, we actually have three petitions. And uh, please come to uh, my business across the street, Total Comfort Heating and Cooling, and sign the petition. And uh, we got three ones to uh, keep, retain the existing pool. The second one is to stop the TIF because they're wanting to give land to the library. And uh, so one's to, uh, one's to stop the TIF and one's to keep the land from, uh, from the city giving the land to the library for free. Okay, so we'll see what you, well, you can see right there. Sign the petition, MiriamConcernedCitizens.com if you want to learn more. Um, I will say city council members, in their defense, what they are saying is that, you know, they surveyed the community and said, what do you want out of an outdoor pool? And they've taken that information into this design. But still, many, many residents here in Merriam upset with the new design. Again, cutting that pool, outdoor pool, about to a third or a quarter of the size of it currently is. So we'll have more with Dan coming up in our next hour. Well, Matt Stewart, Fox 4 News. Okay, Matt. Uh, this whole issue aside, number one, how did you keep a straight face in that? Uh, you're a good actor. Number two, where did he find that sign? Did he make that? Did you make that, Dan? The Pinocchio, or where'd you get it? Move aside, it's coming out of your nose now. Yeah, that's actually vintage Pinocchio. That's been sitting in my basement. We used that back in uh, 2004 in a window display for the Marion Politician. Matt, step off Back up, Matt. Back up, Matt. It's coming out of your head. I, Back up. There you go. <laughs> I'm wow. out of here. Guys, back to you.